All right, folks, so I know the markets are quite tough right now and there's a lot of fear in the streets, but today I wanna to share with you three commas newly updated signal bot, which has a spot reversal mode, which I think can help us navigate these more volatile, tough market conditions. So without further ado, let's just dive right in and let me just show you how it works. Okay, so I'm here at my three commas dashboard. I have a pro plan and I have some exchanges connected already. So let me just jump into the bot, start new bot. Like I said, it's a signal bot. And if you've used this before, you may have noticed that their interface is way more streamlined. You don't have to click all over different places to set one up. So this is way better. But let me just name this uh, Kevin Spot Reversal BTC Bot. And then select your exchange, BTC USD. And then right here, this direction reversal lets us open long spot trades and short spot trades at the same time. Whereas like right now, if you just go long or just go short, it's a little bit harder to navigate that. You have a higher chance of getting wrecked per se. So you can set like the amount of maximum investment usage in this bot if you want. And this webhook URL, this is very important. We're gonna grab this in a second, but we got to open trading view now. Like go to trading view, you can click in. I already have it open right here. And what you wanna do here is first select some indicators. Like I have RSI here, very easy to understand for most people. So let's just use that in our example. So when do we want to go long, right? This is the long order setting. When do we want the bot to open up a long trade for us? Um, I'm going to set it to market order just to keep it simpler. And we have this webhook message as well. But let's look at this, okay? Usually when the RSI like hits this lower band, it's a great time to enter a long and buy per se. So this is like around 30, right? So I'm going to set an alert price crossing up value 30 actually no that's not price this is rsi right here crossing up value 30 once per bar close and then we're going to send this webhook message which is going to go to three commas and tell it to open a long spot order on our exchange and then this notifications have to make sure we have our webhook url properly and yep it's already there so create Boom, it's done, it's active. So when it crosses up here, like it did before, it's gonna buy and do a long spot order. And then real quick, we can also easily set our take profit and stop loss straight from here too. So I'm gonna do a market order and just like 3% profit, take profit, just lock it in. Don't try to be too greedy there. And then stop loss. Let's do minus 5%, okay? So the three commas can handle the take profit and stop loss, which is really convenient. Now, short order or like sell spot. When do we wanna do that? Well, usually when it crosses around like right here, 70, okay? That's when I wanna do that. So I create another alert, crossing down for RSI, value 70. And then we want once per bar close. And remember, this is a short spot order. So this is like sell spot per se. I'm gonna put that here. And webhook is already the same. So there we have it. We have both of these active. And then also take profit right here. Notice it's flipped because this is a short order. So take profit is if the price drops 3%. And then stop loss if it increases 5%. So that goes against the short, then we close it. So that's pretty much it. And then we just click start and then boom, it is activated. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty self-explanatory, but if you want, I'll give you, I'll link you to one of their articles that's super helpful. That answers a lot of the nitty gritty questions about like what those different fields means. But generally speaking, like you don't have to go super complicated. You could do pretty much like the way I did. You don't necessarily have to do these price deviation things, et cetera, et cetera, or exit orders even. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope this helps. I hope this really helps some of y'all set up some automation for these tougher market times. 
so that we could still make profit in a more controlled manner per se.